This session looks at how to um, use Storm Drum 2 from uh, East West uh, inside of Logic, although I suppose any um, digital audio workstation um, will be very similar. I'm just doing this because I didn't find much online in terms of how to set it up for multi timbral use and because the advice given on East West uh, differed um, slightly from the workflow art to follow. So this is just really um, for those out there um, who are having trouble with um, running it. Um, so if we open a new project in Logic and then with the software instrument we're going to go multi timbral um, we don't have to open the library because we're going to use a plugin. And then this instrument one will have a um, an inst uh, one instantiation of um, play, obviously, but we're going to choose uh, multi output as well here. Uh, I'll explain why later. So if we go into play, then choose. Storm Run 2, Instruments, MIDI Performance, Multis, um, I mean, it could be anything, it doesn't really matter which one, so I'm going to just use this one. Okay, so it's loaded up. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight instruments um, within one uh, instantiation of, of the play engine and it's routing those um, all at the moment through the, the, the normal output but it's set up for each of these instruments it's set up a separate MIDI channel so you can see the top one's channel one, this is channel two, three, etc. Um, what that means is that if I played um, the top track that's um, this Godzilla hits thing here. If I went to the next track down, that's this ambient largeness. Next track down, Earthquake Ensemble. You could label these up, obviously, um, and then it's you know be quicker to find. Now, to load uh, some of these preset um, pieces of information, and they've actually got um, some performance multis pre-recorded as kind of um, what would you call it? Kind of um, Presets. So if we go to the browser and locate um, wherever you've got the East West um, libraries inside a Storm Drum, you'll find a folder called MIDI Performances. So if you go in there, that's then got all of the MIDI performances which um, correspond to these titles here. So we've loaded up this Battle Ram business, which, as I say, has got eight different um, distinct MIDI channels um, and has got a kind of you know a multi uh, timbre kind of use of, of storm drum. If we took that same uh, information here, the battle run, if we find it over here, which is there, if I drag this into the top track, it'll then spread out. Um, it'll spread out over the the tracks that are that are listed here, and so conveniently, obviously, Godzilla is at the top, image large, largeness at the the next one down, etc. So we could then play this and see what they've pre-recorded. The tempo is at the back here, 150 it says. So, and that, you know, there's the information again, a tempo for 150. So if you want to obviously set your tempo, um, your session to 150, just to see what, what they pre-recorded it at, that's then, you know, a bit, in, you know, interesting. Um, obviously because it's MIDI, it doesn't really matter what you do speed-wise. So here we go. So there's that. Now the reason I've loaded um, a multi um, multi output um, play engine is because I would like to have a little bit more control over this than than it is here. So if I if I soloed it, for instance, we're, we're going to solo the, uh, all of play. Never mind that it's got eight separate instruments within it. Um, muting the same, etc. So I'm not satisfied with that. Also, if I go on these tracks, you can say that you can see that we've only ever got the same instrument one down here, and I want to be able to pan, you know, bits and pieces in different areas. Now, of course, I know what you're thinking. We could go in here, 
and then on each of these I could then go into the player for that. So now I'm literally just on channel three. So the browser says literally only Earthquake Ensemble is visible if I go to the player now. So I'm looking at Earthquake Ensemble only channel three. I could pan that here separately. Um, I find it a bit of a faff panning within play, um, not because it's complicated, just because I can't, you know, I haven't got visual representation immediately. Um, because I'm working in obviously in Logic, I'd like to see it down on my mixer. So what I'm going to do is um, go out to the browser, go up to the top one. First, we need to reassign these eight tracks out to our multi-timbral um, kind of element in, within Logic. So we're going to do that as follows. Godzilla hits, let's open this up first. You go to instrument and you open up as many as it can handle. There's nine stereo tracks, so we're going to just keep clicking until it doesn't let us click anymore. So here we go. Instrument one, and then auxiliaries one through eight. Now, at the moment, that's all going to still come out of the of the main output here, um, but from instrument one, we can then route separate channels through these other auxiliary buses. So we're going to do it like this. Godzilla hits out to one, two, fair enough. This channel two, we're going to send out to three and four. Earthquake Ensemble, five and six. The Congas to seven and eight. Tanmo, nine, ten. Next one, 11, 12, penultimate one, 13, 14, and the last one here to 15, 16. So now, if I click on this top track, I'm still going to be playing Godzilla Hit. Next track down, still our image largeness. However, you can see that um, that's coming up in this auxiliary here. If I go back to the first one, that's only going to be coming up in instrument track one here. So let's go to the third one, say, and that's going to show up here when I play it. And the beauty is I can now pan and affect the levels separately um, within Logic rather than having to do it in play. So there you have it, multi-timbral use of um, a storm drum to play instantiation. A um, couple other things to do or to note are just making sure that in the settings your um, MIDI, or rather this other tab here, is set to automatic increment. Um, I think other than that, that's it.